So specific IT requirements for the legal sector, I guess, can be broken down into to three component parts. Um, first of all, around security. Uh, legal firms uh, hold a lot of data, com very confidential data about a number of different businesses. And as a result, security is first and foremost security by design. Uh, secondly is around compliance, both regulatory compliance in terms of uh, data protection uh, with GDPR, but also obviously around uh, the solicitor's regular uh, SRA uh, compliance. So making sure that IT is delivered uh, with resilience in mind, with disaster recovery, uh, with all of the uh, requirements around uh, data and, and how that's held. And then the final requirement from IT in the legal space is around agility, uh, making sure that a law firm can react to market opportunities through the use of uh, efficient tools and work processes and driving efficiency into the firm. So pretty much those three core uh, are the requirements for IT within the legal sector. Helping uh, our clients stay SRA compliant, first and foremost, is we, we keep up to date on, on all of the uh, changing rules around the SRA compliance, and then making sure that our IT delivery meet those in partnership with the client. It can't be done purely in isolation with, with NASTAR, it is a partnership with the customer. So it is about making sure that the IT systems and processes and policies that are used on those systems meet the up-to-date regulatory requirements. A digitalisation with regards to transforming the legal sector is really around turning on its head how a legal firm looks at, uh, looks at their service capabilities. Traditionally it's always been about the fee earner and what the fee earner can, can sell to their client. But actually what digitalisation will do is turn that on its head and make it much more client centric and make uh, the law firm look at the client and determine what the whole firm can sell into that individual client as opposed to the individual fee and it into the clients. And I think digital transformation will really drive that cross-sale capability uh, and maximise the opportunity within the firm's customer base.